What's up, what's good, what's poppin'? It's AJ Monroe. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've been here before, what have you done to change your life? So, I'm back. <laughs> It has been a while. My birthday happened. If you have been here before and you're nosy, you notice that the background is completely different. Uh, I've moved couches, I've gotten organizers, a new TV is put on the wall. Things are constantly changing um, and I needed a little break just to kind of like handle all of the changes, all the things that were moving and happening. Because believe it or not, this YouTube stuff is really hard. So if you watch my videos and you care that I've been gone, sorry. Well, that's been going on. So we're actually going vegan here now. Uh, Paul even spent the other day trying to like make this vegan ravioli recipe. It turned out terrible, but you know, that's what we're about in this house, growth. You know, trying new things, failing, but we gonna try that again. We are, we are going to try it again. Along with my absence, I was going to come back. However, the death of George Floyd uh, hit us, and with everything going on, I definitely wanted to participate in the YouTube Creator uh, Week of Silence and just kind of like not post anything. And it just made the most sense to me. With everything going on, I feel like I, I wanted to focus on what was happening in the world. I definitely didn't want to sit here and make YouTube videos about lifestyle, and I, as a black man, didn't feel fantastic about the world so we're back now <laughs> i did want to speak on that i definitely did want to say that black lives matter and it's important for us to continue to fight for visibility and justice and equality in america and i'd like to thank all of our allies who stand with us in the fight today with that being said my hiatus is over my little month of not like putting any content out you guys not hearing from me that has not happened in a while, it's just not gonna happen again. I did an overhaul of my closet, and so new videos on that are coming soon. Definitely have some other videos coming for you guys. I don't wanna spoil anything, but I have uh, a couple other new content videos coming, so I'm really excited about that. We're gonna get to this video, because this intro, it has been so long. So here we go. Okay, so before we started, my beard was definitely sparse, and I'm not gonna say like the, my struggle spots are definitely still struggling a little bit, but we've made so much growth over the past couple of months. Um, and I kinda wanna talk to you about it because progress is important. Uh, from everything that I have learned, from everything I've watched, from everything I've read, it has said it takes anywhere from two to six months to completely grow out your beard. And that's with effort, that's with trying, you know? Like not having a dry beard, not brushing your beard, that's not gonna help you at all. You're just gonna continue having a crusty little beard. But I have been doing the work for us, you know? So I've been taking my vitamins, drinking a lot more water, exercising, moisturizing my face. I actually incorporated a beard oil as well as a derma roller. And I'm actually gonna put the link in the description for that stuff because it actually kind of helped thicken up my beard. The spots where I'm not very confident, confident about, spots I'm not really comfortable with are definitely kind of becoming a little bit more hidden. So even though like those spots aren't like getting crazy growth of hair right now, they are kind of disappearing because the rest of my beard is growing in so much thicker, uh, so much better than it was before when I wasn't taking any care of it. Uh, I love I love these processes just because I kind of get to see what my body can do. Um, also, it's kind of like a small commitment that I make to myself, you know, taking vitamins every day, making sure that I'm at least going out for a walk every day, going to play my tennis just to make sure I'm getting a little bit of exercise to stimulate that testosterone to help my hair grow, you know? And so like, I kind of like it because it has definitely given me a new sense of, growing my beard has given me a new sense of responsibility. Doing things every day consistently is truly a hard task for me. Uh, we see this, you know? Uh, I went missing for a month. But um, just kind of like consistently doing these things and like going like, hey, you know, you haven't done this today and you haven't done this today and you know that you need to, you know? Eating better was crazy. A crazy jump, all right? You know, I went and got a pub sub here and there. Um, me and my friend went to Jersey Mike's because like a dead cutoff of like meats in general is like not good. I don't really eat beef or pork anyways, but I, I love my chicken and turkey, my white meat, I love it. 
I love it. I love it. And so, like, cutting back on that stuff was hard. But it has all come full circle when I say that I really enjoy looking at my beard. I take pictures of myself all the time now just because my beard is a little bit more thicker, a little bit more fuller. And so if you guys haven't been on my little regimen, if you haven't been looking at my videos, go look at my videos. Because actually they're kind of helping. I'm going to do a separate video on the beard oil and derma roller uh, just because I feel like that was what really kind of like helped me get it together. It definitely was kind of I shaved off my beard um, when me and my friend were doing my hair stuff, and then coming back, uh, I started to use the derma roller after we had done that, and the beard oil after we had done that, and it actually just kind of like progressed my beard growth a little bit better. I'd like to point out, not point out, you guys don't know, my barber told me to put hair grease on my beard to help it grow. I think I'm gonna try it for a week. Uh, <laughs> but I also think that's just gonna like, that's... His poor face. His poor pores. Probably clogged his Um, But he has a beautiful beard. Um, so that's why I was like, ooh, that sounds terrible for your beard. That sounds terrible for your face. But he has a great beard, so I'm like, I'm gonna try it. You know, I'm just gonna put it out there. And so, that's that on that. I'm gonna roll some pictures because I've definitely been talking for way too long. <laughs> You guys, go look at my other videos. I just kind of wanted to do this one just to kind of show appreciation to my beard. Cause he popping right now, you know? He's really doing his thing. I've definitely been brushing him down, getting him together, shaking and moving as, I just feel like my, my face was like this the whole time. Shaking and moving, that was really, it got a point where like you're filming and you're just like talking for so long that you're just like this is a mess. I feel like I've been rambling for hours, but everything is like on my little slide. And so I mean I'm here and we're doing an okay job. Maybe. Anyways, uh, I just want to show some appreciation to my beard. So uh, you know. My disrespect of bro was just, uh, was loud. I like literally told you guys in the intro video that this man was patchy. So I want to come back and be like, you guys, this stuff is working. Get into it. Drink your water. Take your vitamins. Eat healthier foods, fruits and stuff. I had a jackfruit for the first time. No, not a jackfruit. I do have a jackfruit, um, but I had Dragon fruit for the first time. It tastes like water. I am using this time to experiment on new fruits and things and just trying things out of my norm. And I, 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 I it, it tastes like water. I was gonna say I liked it, but it tastes like water. Water that you can chew. It's not as hard as ice. I still have some in, uh, in my fridge. Okay, so look, be ye not fooled by vices that lie. This is the way I cut them, you know? It looks like a kiwi, right? The disappointment. Tastes like water. sitting on my counter right now. Um, 
And fruits are good. Fruits are fantastic. They help your beard flourish. Vegetables are fantastic. Eat some sauteed eggplants every once in a while. It's like in my beard growth, like eating healthier, blah, blah, blah. That's a saying, you know, you have to eat healthier for your hair to grow healthier. Um, I'm also really concerned about my skin right now. And so eating healthier is helping with my skin. Thick Thursdays, we are changing it. Um, I have given you a lot of information already. A lot of stuff that has helped me help my beard grow. Um, so now I would like you to take that information, apply it, uh, do something with it. I think Thursdays will actually come out twice a month, if that, maybe once a month from now on. I definitely have other things I want to focus on. Um, and so these are kind of be like check-ins at any given time. Um, if I have any beer products that I think that we should start using, uh, if I, you know, have something that I'm like, hey, 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 this, no, nah, we, we gonna stop this. You can go ahead and get my money back because I can't do nothing with that. Yeah, that's when you'll see Thick Thursdays. For the most part, I think, um, I think we're done with this series. I think there's a moment where people start seeing progress with their beard and stuff and they start using more products you know and they start using those products that like, aren't great for them so i think what we're doing now we're, we're cleansing our face we're taking our vitamins that are not only helping us like with our beard but also like our regular body functions um we want to keep to that kind of stuff we want to we want to keep to like being very minimalist and like putting as little in our body as little foreign stuff as, in our body as possible and so I think what we have right now is perfect. It's fantastic for what we, where we are, what we're doing. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I'm, I'm enjoying making the content. I'm so sorry that I was gone for so long. But either way, um, I'm AJ Monroe. Uh, this has been another week of Thick Thursdays. I don't know when another one of these will come out. And that's completely fine. Uh, you guys have the tools that you need to grow a thicker beard. And if you don't, let me know. If you feel like your beard is still too dry or something, I'm not really having that issue. Um, but we can figure out some more stuff about like your beard being dry. Uh, I will start linking other resources down just so you guys can kind of like go get a more extensive beard, beard growth um, help. There are a lot of people out there. I will definitely try and link a bunch of POC people. You guys have a fantastic week. Uh, this video was a lot easier to film, I feel like, because I feel a lot more comfortable here. Uh, so, I will see you guys next week, some other time, uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying life. I hope you guys are still staying safe with Corona out there. I hope you guys are involved in something that is important to you, and I hope you guys are going to protest. Um, be on the right side of history. Uh, if you're not, it's like failing an open book test. So, uh, I will see you guys later!